Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can create this image within a text effect and I'll be showing you how you can make part of the image pop out like this squirrel's head. Stay tuned and we get straight into it. So to get started I'm just going to get rid of the page border. So I'm going to go up to File, down to Document Properties and I'm just going to turn off the page border. We can get rid of that. So first things first, we need to import the picture of our squirrel. So if we go up to File, down to Import, and then you can get your squirrel picture from wherever you've put it. Press OK to the settings, and we've got our picture of a squirrel. Let's just zoom in a bit. I'm going to duplicate this, so Control D to duplicate. So I've got two pieces. Now the first one's going to be the actual text in the writing, and the second image I'm going to use for the head of the squirrel when we cut out the head to sit on top of the writing. So next thing I want to do is create some writing. So I'm just going to grab my uh, text tool, stick on cap lock, and we can write out Squirrel. And we can move that down. So what I want to do with this is I want to put a stroke around the outside and I want to remove the fill so I can see what I'm doing. So if we come down to the bottom, we can click on the cross to remove the fill. So I'm going to come down to the bottom here. I'm going to right click on stroke width and then we can just make that a little bit thicker. So for our squirrel, we need to line our writing up so our squirrel's head's going to come popping out of one of the R's. So if we just get hold of our writing, we can move it down and adjust it till it's sitting somewhere that suits our image. So about there. So we've got the squirrel's tail nicely in the writing and his body and his head's just popping out at the top. So when we chop the head to fit on top, it should look nice and neat. With the squirrel writing, I'm going to use one for this border and I need a second copy to use as a path, which I'm going to use as a clipping mask. So if we duplicate it, press Control D to duplicate, I can then hold down Shift, select the image and we can come up to Object, down to Clip, over to Set and set it. So we should now have one of our images should be clipped to the shape of this. We can just double check this by reducing the opacity of the background one. So there we go, we've got our squirrel writing. So we bring the opacity back up. So what we need to do now is cut out the head so we can sit it on top. So we need a nice trimmed head. So we're just going to do this with a Bezier tool. We're also cut his arm so his arm fits over the top of this this uh, centerpiece in the in the middle. So to do that, I'm going to click on my squirrel writing. I'm going to reduce the opacity so I can see the squirrel a bit better. I'm going to get my Bezier tool, and then I'm just going to start drawing around the squirrel's head. So for this, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. So we can start here. Obviously the ears are the most fiddly bit going around the fur. So this is where we just need to come up along the arm just so we can sit it over the top the middle section of the writing there. So I'm just going to reduce the size of my stroke. So we right click on that, reduce the stroke down to make it a little bit clearer to see. I'm then going to change to my nodes tool. And now if we zoom in a little bit, we can go in and do some tweaking with our path. If we turn off snapping, does that can prove a problem when we're trying to do fine adjustments. It shoots up. So 
So I think that looks fairly good. That's all I'm going to do here is going to hold down shift. We get our selection tool first. Hold down shift. Select the background image again. And then we're going to go up to object, clip, set. Now this has cut out our squirrel's head to fit on top of our uh, on top of our writing. So now if we select our writing, we can bring the opacity right back up. Our head's obviously sat behind it. So if we click on that, we can raise that to the top. So it sits in front of the writing. Um, the ears look like they could do a bit of work actually. We'll just go in and adjust that slightly. So what I want to do is come back up to object. I'm going to come down to clip and I'm going to say release. So we're back to our stroke. So what we do is just come in, we get the nodes tool again. We come in, we adjust this a little bit. If we try that, that looks a bit better, I think. So if we get our selection tool, we'll hold down shift select the background image and then we can just go to object clip set that looks a bit better so i think we we'll stick with that we we'll zoom out see where we stand so i think that's looking good we've got the arm going over the top of the center of the letter it sits nicely coming out of the r everything looks quite nice so what i want to just do to finish it off is i'm going to stick a background on so we come out a little bit, we get our rectangle tool. We drag a rectangle over the top. I'm going to come up, get my selection tool again. I'm going to go to the fill and stroke dialog box. We want fill and I'm going to change it to a radial gradient. So if we come down and get our gradient tool, we change the center stop to a lightish brown that looks quite a nice one and then we change the outside stop I'm going to make it actually if we get the color picker just grab the color from the middle I'm gonna grab the outside stop it's fully opaque but I'm just going to darken it slightly so we've got this light lighter in the middle we actually lighten that down a little bit, I think. So we just make that a little bit lighter. So we've got this nice gradient effect. Now if we take, get our selection tool, we can just drop that down to the bottom. So it's behind our writing. And now we've got our finished squirrel effect. So I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.